Hello, my beautiful reader friends. It's Tiffany with an IE, as you can see. Welcome back to my channel, and for today's video, I will be doing the reread, rewrite, and burn tag. Um, the original creator of this tag, I will link her in the description down below, as well as every book that I mention in this video will be in the description. And um, also, if you like audiobooks, um, I recommend Scribd. It's awesome. And um, if you'd like to get 60 days free, um, and I'll get 30 days free, um, check out my referral link down in, dis in the description as well. So I was tagged by Frogs and Fiction, otherwise known as Josie, to do this tag, and um, her channel is also linked down below. Just look in the description. I put a lot of work into it, and I, yeah, so lots of stuff. But um, here I have a little basket of papers that I've written different novels on. Hopefully I don't get any um, bad combinations because I really won't know what to do if three of my favorite books come up and I have to pick which one to burn. But yeah, so um, this should be enough for six rounds, I think. But um, let's see. Also, um, as a good luck charm, this is Narzi. <laughs> she is um, a lavender color like my wall. It's kind of hard to tell at night because um, she looks kind of more pink. But there is a pink version as well as a blue version and a teal version. And um, this is from Belzy. She's very small and cute and soft. So yeah, so let us see what my first pick is. Um, let's see, I have this one. Okay, Sense and Sensibility. <laughs> Good. Um, Throne of Glass, and The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Okay, I don't like any of these. <laughs> so here, um, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Sense and Sensibility, and Throne of Glass. Um, okay, so I think out of these, I would actually burn the girl with the dragon tattoo because when I read this I wasn't really a fan of it and then um normally I don't get triggered but I did get triggered by the um sexual assault slash rape scene in this book and it was it was really not good so yeah not a fan I would burn that um I think oh man I don't like any of these um Okay, so I guess I was gonna do, man, okay, so I will rewrite Throne of Glass because I'm not a fan of Sarah J. Mass's books, but I think this one, it had potential, but the execution and just stuff like Selena's annoying character, so I would rewrite it, a lot of it. <laughs> Um, and then I guess I'll reread Sense and Sensibility, even though I'm not a Jane Austen fan either. Um, I guess I would just, like, I've only read it once, so I guess I would take my time and reread it and try to dissect it and maybe look up spark notes to see what it's about, but I don't know if I would really enjoy it. So, <laughs> those are my answers. Okay, the next round, what did I get? Oh yes, the Young Elites, Homegirl Marie Lou. <laughs> um, the next one, Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> um, and let's see, The Kite Runner, okay. Yeah, okay, this one's definitely really easy. I would reread The Young Elites because I'm a Homegirl Marie Lou and um, yeah, this is one of my favorite books by her ever so nothing like this book is perfect so would totally reread this oh, I'm so glad that came up um this is a harder decision I think hmm I think I would rewrite Pride and Prejudice because 
Um, although I'm not a fan of Jane, Jane Austen, I do like um, retellings of some of her stuff. So like Pride and Prejudice and Zombies is really fun because it has zombies and photos and it's just hilarious. Um, and it's more satirical. And then um, Pride by Edie Zaboy was really awesome. So yeah, I think the story is okay once you figure out what's going on. But um, it's just the, the original... Um, the writing is really stuffy, so I think I'd probably re rewrite it to make it less stuffy. <laughs> and then I guess I'm burning the Kite Runner, which I didn't really like because the main character was trash, and um, yeah, there's also um, trigger warning for rape in, in this book as well, and that did not sit well with me. So yeah, burning that. <laughs> okay. Next. Oh man. I'm so scared. So first up we have, oh, A Court of Thorns and Roses. Then we have All the Bright Places. Okay. Um, and then we have Lovely War. Okay. This, this is an easy one as well. Okay. I would reread Lovely War um, because uh, I love Julie Berry and this book was fantastic. Um, and then I would rewrite All the Bright Places because um, I gave it a three stars. I didn't really enjoy it. Like, I think the execution and also kind of um, one of the characters, like the main guy character was kind of annoying and then just also trigger warning for suicide as well. Um, yeah, so I didn't enjoy it as much as, like, I was expecting. It was, yeah, it was kind of disappointing for me. Um, but I know a lot of people don't like it. So, yeah, I would definitely rewrite All the, all the Bright Places. Um, and then, let's see. Oh, I would burn A Court of Thorns and Roses. <laughs> that works out. Um, it's just fairy smut. I'm not a fan of um, Sarah J Mass, like I said, and yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's better written kind of than Throne of Glass, but I mean, still questionable. So yeah. Okay. Next round. What did I get? Wild Beauty. Okay. That's a good one. Um, I'm very scared every time I do this. <laughs> The Red Badge of Courage, okay. And last one. Rebel of the Sands, oh. Oh, this is hard, okay. Okay, because I love Wild Beauty and Rebel of the Sands. So I don't, I don't know, none of them have problems. Uh, okay. I, I don't know. Um. Uh, I think I would, um, man, this is hard. I think I would reread Wild Beauty, um, because it's beautiful and lyrical and Anna Marie writes very magical stuff, well, magical realism, and it's just super amazing. So, yeah. Rebel of the Sands, though, it's, I read it this year and I really loved it, so I don't really know what I would change. Um, maybe i just rewrite it so that, uh, I don't know, I find something to rewrite about it. Maybe just, like, a sentence. <laughs> but it's, it's also a pretty perfect book. Um, and then I would burn the Red Badge of Courage because I read this in high school and it's a war book and I, I'm i not a really big fan of war books and I just, I did not like it. So yeah, okay, that was, that was a bit tough. Um, next we have The Raven Boys and Fat Vampire and Legendborn, oh. Oh man, this is also hard. Okay, um, 
Well, I would reread Legendborn because this was one of my favorite books, um, top 12 books of last year. So yeah, this was pretty good. Um, so I would reread this. Um, the Raven Boys, like, I would also want to reread that too. Although, like, my favorite of the Raven Cycle is actually the second one, The Dream Thieves. So I think the first one, The Raven Boys, I don't know what to rewrite. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd find something to rewrite. <laughs> but yeah, so that's for The Raven Boys. And then... Fat Vampire is a Satire by Adam Rex. Um, I like some of his other stuff, like his picture books and things, but I did not like this book. It was like, I know because it's a satire, the main character was supposed to be annoying, but yeah, it was just, I just felt it was stupid. So definitely burning this one. Um, okay, and the last three. No, I have more in here. Okay, I have more. Never mind. This is not the last round. Um, let's see. What did I get? So first I have Glass, um, which is by Ellen Hopkins. And then I have After. <laughs> oh my gosh. I trust, I trash that book so much on this channel. Um, and then I have Cinder. Okay, this is easy. Um, yeah, so I would reread Cinder because I love the Lunar Chronicles. So yeah. I would burn after because it's garbage <laughs> and um, I wasn't a fan of glass um, I'm just not really a fan of like realistic fiction that deals really heavily with drugs um, I don't know I'd find something to rewrite about it because I know that it does serve a purpose but I personally didn't enjoy it so I'd find something to rewrite about it okay what's next I have The Shining, and then These Violent Delights, and oh no, <laughs> The Song of Achilles. Okay, so I really love These Violent Delights and The Song of Achilles, and I wouldn't rewrite anything about them. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think... Um, I don't know. Okay, um, let me say I will reread The Song of Achilles because that book is so heartbreaking and amazingly written. Like, yeah, it's a work of art. Um, I would rewrite These Violent Delights, I guess, just to add more Shakespeare references. <laughs> um, I mean, there are some pretty good Shakespeare references in there, but I really like that book, so I don't, I wouldn't really want to change it, but because of this tag, I have to choose something. And I would burn The Shining just because um, I just wasn't a fan of it. I'm not a huge horror fan, although um, I do like Rin Chupeco's, like horror books. So um, The Girl from the Well and The Suffering, I love those. Um, yeah, so just not a fan of Stephen King so far. Okay, and now I just have three more left, so I will just go with these three. What are they? Uh, Skinny, a book I read a long time ago, Prophecy by Ellen O, and Of Mice and Men. Okay, this is pretty easy, I think. Um, yeah, okay. I would reread Prophecy, because I like that book. And out of these two, because I didn't like either of these, so I'm not sure which which one would I burn. Um, I think... Uh, okay, I don't remember as much about Skinny, but it, it has to do with anorexia and the negative effects of that. So I think I'd burn Skinny. I didn't really enjoy it. And I would rewrite of, of Mice and Men so that there isn't like a ton of cuss words on every page. Like just get rid of all the cussing or just maybe just tone it down a bit. But yeah, it was, it was a bit much. Um, yeah. Besides that, the storyline was fine. 
Um, but yeah, I actually prefer The Pearl by Steinbeck a lot more. So even though that one is also very sad. <laughs> so yeah, um, so I ended up doing eight rounds <laughs> instead of six. I guess I miscalculated, miscalculated, but yeah, that didn't go as bad as I thought it would. <laughs> it turned out pretty, um, pretty good actually, but yeah. So, um, thanks Josie for putting me through this, um, this struggle and, you know, anxiety and stuff, but, <laughs> but yeah, finally did this tag. Um, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.